Now, dissenting opinion is the biggest challenge facing the current administration, which has gone out of their way to suppress it. Here's Leanne McAdoo with a special report. Freedom of speech is a cardinal rule in a free society. So why has there been so much suppression of dissent from the administration who's promised to be the most transparent? MyCancellation.com is a new Tumblr giving a face to the millions whose insurance has been canceled due to Obamacare. Twitter has repeatedly suspended the at MyCancellation account since its inception November 1st, saying it has been flagged for spam. A graphic artist was ordered by the NSA to cease and desist printing his parody t-shirts that were critical of the NSA's unconstitutional spying. Now Dan McCall is suing the spy agency for violating his First Amendment rights, saying he doesn't want his kids to grow up in a country where you can't humor your own government. Well, one place humor is not appreciated is at the airport. You are also reminded that any inappropriate remarks or jokes concerning security may result in your arrest. We appreciate your cooperation while these measures are in effect. And it's not just civilians that are being threatened for criticizing Obama. Insurers are being pressured from the White House to keep quiet about the Affordable Care Act fiasco. The source is telling us they feared White House retribution. Across the spectrum, those who are critical of the current administration are being labeled as racist or anti-government domestic terrorists. Apparently, the cops found anti-government material on the alleged LAX shooter that appeared to reference the New World Order. For people perhaps not familiar, New World Order is generally accepted to be a conspiracy theory where people believe that there are elites out there forming some sort of special author authoritarian government. So the New World Order is a conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theorists are evil and anti-government. Hmm, maybe that means we should start by purging these thought criminals. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. This phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. There's a need for a new world order. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Global economic crisis. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, a world order that I think all of us would like to see. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world, the central bankers in charge? We are absolutely slaves to central banks. So there you go, folks. The power structure is shooting blanks. In order for their tyrannical government to succeed, good men must stand by in silence. That's why it's essential now more than ever for us to exercise our First Amendment right or lose it forever to tyrants. Reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo.